Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, it's a fine weekend and it's been a while that I shared any tutorial. So I was thinking let's do something today. Okay, so uh, I was I was planning today. I, I, let's talk about this to uh, this uh, this old language called Pig Basic. Uh, so which is the language developed in 1964. Uh, okay, uh, so it is a very uh, old language which stands for Beginners All Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code, which was mainly de designed uh, to for the students to you know write simple programs uh, for simple instructions to the computer. Okay, uh, so uh, you know later it came as Pig Basic, which is uh, uh, which means it was supposed to be uh, designed for Pig Microcontroller. Okay, uh, so you can uh, search, you know, the introduction and all here. So it's a very old language, and it could be mostly, uh, it could be a first language for uh, most of us. Okay, I, I I learned this language for the first time in my college days. Okay, <coughs> so before any further ado, let's start and let's just uh, you know uh, see what it is and what are the basic things that we can do. Okay, so we'll see a very int uh, introduction to this. Okay. So uh, before I start, let's just introduce you to my channel. This is uh, my channel for uh, programming and other computer technologies. So if you want to sh uh, watch such tutorials, please subscribe. And uh, that's all. Okay, so we can start uh, with a f without any further ado. Uh, so first of all, you'll have to install this big basic software. You can download it from internet anywhere. It's uh, you can download it from Rocket Software. So once you have installed it, you have to uh, go to your start and search for UDT, uh, which is Unidata Software. Okay, so it will open, it will give you this prompt and uh, you can see the current working directory is, uh, it will be installed in C, C folder U2, UD82. Okay, and this is the current directory where you are present. Okay, so if you install this, you will come to know that uh, uh, it will be there in your U2, C, U2, U8, UD82, and then there will be bin folder, and here your program will be installed, UDT. Okay, uh, this is a program. Okay, so here uh, all your programs will be, will be present, so in, if you, you are currently in the demo folder. Okay, fine. So let's just start. Okay, so I'll just uh, maybe I can increase the font a bit, you know. So maybe I'll make it 20. Okay. Uh, what happened? Okay, so it's asking about some link. That is fine. So uh, let's just, you can, I hope you can see my desktop. Fine. So, so first of all, I, I would like to tell you like how you can approach if you don't know anything. So there is a, always in any programming language, there is a help, self help that you can use. So if you press help and then you can press enter, uh, you will uh, get a help prompt. So you can see page up, down and bottom. So if you press enter, it will take you to the next page okay up down and once you go to the last page you can press Q to come out of the help so this is the prompt which is a nothing but a colon okay and uh, this is your like a command prompt which you all have <coughs> in any programming language <coughs> okay so uh, so I'll just give you a, a, like for example if you run date command it will show you the current date okay if you just do display display high so it will just display high okay so if you want to uh, let's say you want to know about this help command you know you want to know f about a particular command how would you do that so just do help space and that particular command so it will give you a help on that so there are two things here so you want help for unibasic or you want help for unidata so uh, let me tell you unibasic is for basic programming language and unidata is for unidata database okay so we are currently fo focusing on uni basic language so we'll just select one so here uh, this is it will give you a you know a very basic uh, introduction like uh, 
a description like what does this date command do okay uh, so yeah so likewise you know if you want let's say help and uh, there is a command called basic which is used to compile the uh, the program and which converts it into the interpreted language and which sends to the uh, pick interpreter okay so so basic is a command which is used to compile uni basic source code into interpretive code to be used by uni basic interpreter so if you want to know about any command it, uh, you should uh, I, I must tell you that this is the way you should approach okay so if you press D it will take you to the down if you press U it will take you up and if you once you are at the bottom you can press enter also to go to the next page so you can see here there are several options so while while doing this if you give minus T it will take you to the debugger mode okay so if you press Q you are you are out of it okay fine so let's uh, so now uh, I told you like how you can approach and how you can start if as a beginner okay so let's say I just I have just summarized few of the commands that you can do here so for example if you want to uh, open a program or if you want to write a program you know so uh, the first thing like if you want to do if you want to run the last command let's say you can simply do dot x so dot x will give you for example if I run date and if I just do dot x so it will run date again if you if I say like uh, if I do ed so ed and then space and then folder name okay so uh, one more thing you should know about this language is that the commands are not case sensitive but the folder name or the program name are case sensitive okay so here I have a BP folder in my demo folder which I where my programs are located so I'll just go to this folder so you have to give ed space the folder name and then the program that you want to create so let's say I want to create a program for program 3 okay so like uh, let's just uh, use uppercase for all of it so ed program 3 so it will open a default editor okay so you know so for, for uh, if you are using a Unix language, uh, the default editor is VI and here the, the default editor is MS-DOS editor, okay? So, yeah, fine. So, uh, let's just uh, say I want to print something, okay? Uh, so, let's say print or uh, print, say let's say hi, okay? So, I'll just save it and then close it okay so now what, what will happen is if you press dot L it will give you a list of commands that were done earlier okay so if you do dot L 5 it will give you the last five commands if you do uh, if you do dot L 10 it will give you the last 10 commands okay likewise so if you want if you don't want the entire list of command you only want let's say last few commands that I did let's say you can do L3 or something like that okay so uh, let's say now I want to compile this program okay yeah so how do I do that so I will do basic and then the folder name where my program is present and then the program name so you can see uh, the compiling uni basic this is the folder name and inside this this is my program name and the compilation finished so if you get any error it will be shown here okay so once you do that what will happen is that it will create a, 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 a byte code or it will convert the source code into a byte code which will be named as program name underscore program name okay so yeah so now how do I do that now we do run then do BP and then the program name okay so if I do this so it was printing high okay so this is this is the what we wanted to do in the program okay so if I just do let's say I want to run it again so I just do dot X okay fine what if I want to run uh, an, uh, an older command so what if, let's say I will do dot L so if you do dot L by default it will list last 20 commands okay so let's say I want to do dot I want to edit the program again so I will do dot x3 which is the number of the command ok 
okay so ldo dot x3 so it will open uh, the uh, one second it will open the the program the editor one second yeah yeah so this is the program this is open the editor okay so let's just add few more things you know like let's say i want to clear the screen so crt create okay uh and that minus one is uh, come on the special instruction which will clear the screen and then if you want let's say you want to uh, say uh, put a message at a particular location you can give coordinate for that so let's say i want to do it on 10 and then 10 okay let's say 15 and then i want to say uh, first message or something like that first or say hello world okay okay so this is this is for clearing the screen and this is the coordinate where you want to print this message okay so you want to compile it again so you will have to save it and close and then again you just do dot l5 to check the last five commands and then what you do you compile it again because any changes made you will have to compile it again so what do we do for that we do third command so dot x3 compilation successful then you do uh, dot l again dot x run 3 to run it you can see that the screen is cleared and then it takes the coordinate to 10 15 and then prints the message okay and get back get gets you back the prompt okay so this is a very uh, uh, short video and uh, i'll cover next things like you know if uh, statements for loop while loop and uh, other conditions like you know what we do in programming so i hope you will enjoy this video and uh, don't forget to like it thank you